complete manuscript is Codex Sinaiticus. It's fourth century, right? The earliest shrouds, with even like P52, which is just like a credit card, is 70 years to 90 years after Jesus' time. Counts. Yes. 335 states be before Christ. No. That means let me 600 say. something before yeah, Christ. I just want to. I just want to correct you. Yeah. yeah you said 300, right? No, 675. Okay. okay. Christianity okay. counts. Okay. 184. Bring my back. Okay. And the gap is. 535 eggs before Christianity and Islam. It, it, it's 600 something years 635. between. But, but again, I'm letting you finish. I just wanted to correct the numbering. Yeah. But do you want me to explain that or do you want to finish your question Let first? Me finish. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. But the gap between Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is 600 years. Yeah. And should I believe the witness of okay. the God who okay. walked with Jesus? Okay. You see Jesus' miracles. He just, you see Jesus making something good and better. God walked with Jesus? Should I believe? Okay. I, I'm trying to understand yeah. the, what Should your question is. Okay. Go ahead. Is who have, like, we can see with Jesus. Okay. They walk with Jesus. They see miracles. Jesus who? makes miracles. The prophets who have, like, apostles, the disciples. Okay, okay but, but hold on. I just want to understand. Mm -hmm. So first thing to understand islam didn't start with the prophet muhammad peace be upon him okay okay islam has been the religion of all the prophets as i was explaining to the gentleman willie earlier i just want to know that the, the gap difference that's I, all i got you yeah okay so but i want to explain to you what's your name Bitania. huh bitania bitania okay yeah. bitania so islam didn't start with the prophet muhammad peace be upon him okay so we follow a religion that is the same religion since the time of Adam, right? The same message, one God, follow the prophet of your time. So Abraham, prophet of the time. Moses, prophet of the time. Jesus, prophet of the time. Muhammad, prophet of the time. Peace be upon all of them, right? So it's not that we started something new. This is a continuation. Secondly, when you say, should I believe one that came earlier? Do you believe that the rabbis that were before Jesus had corrupted the, the synagogues and church when Jesus told them that what you're doing is wrong, right? Right? Mm -hmm. You do believe that as a Christian. Yeah. But they were before Jesus. No one so chronologically, they were earlier. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you believe them over Jesus? Because you believe their message was corrupted yeah. and Jesus came to correct that. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Just like that, the Christian church, church fathers corrupted the true message of Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was sent by Allah to correct them as Jesus was sent to correct the earlier ones. So just because something is earlier doesn't mean it's right. Lastly, when you said those people that walked with Jesus, those true apostles, you have none of their writings today. When you go home, research the earliest let me show it to you hold on the gospels right so this is this is the okay this is the this is the new testament in greek right now what's interesting in this i have the greek here then i have the english translations two of them here this gives you the manuscripts where we got this from like you believe in the bible yeah right these manuscripts we have their dating the earliest complete manuscript is Codex Sinaiticus. It's fourth century, right? The earliest shrouds, with even like P52, which is just like a credit card, is 70 years to 90 years after Jesus' time. So those early apostles, the early disciples, the early followers of Jesus, we call Hawariyun, you don't have any of their writings, okay? So if we had their writings, of course, we would believe in them. Yeah. If you look at this today, much of the Bible, like here in John 5, 7, they tell you this is fabricated. It was not in any of the earlier pre-7th century manuscripts. Right? So, what does it tell you? That these things have all been changed. Now, let me give you an example. Right? You, you believe in the Bible. This is the Bible. Christian New King James Version. Right? How did Judas die? Let me see. Oh, you, you, you know, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then he threw down, this is in Matthew 27.5. Then he threw down pieces of silver in the temple 
and departed and went and hanged himself. So how did he die? He says he hanged himself. Hung himself. Yeah. You, as a Christian, is that what you believe? Yeah. Okay. In your same Bible, when you go to Acts 1, 18. Now, this man Judas purchased the field with the wages of inequity. So the money he got for selling out Jesus, what did he do with the money? In the earlier verse, he threw it in the temple. Here, what did he do? He bought land with it, right? And falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and his entrails gushed out. So how did he die? Did he fall? You know, you know what headlong means? So when your head goes first, meaning when you're in motion and your head falls and you burst open. So did he hang himself and throw the money? Or did he buy a piece of land and fall? You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, just, just to make you happy, because you're such a good guy and you have such good mannerism, 